If you set up or manage Google Business Profile accounts for clients, it's really nice to be able to do so from a single dashboard. So if you are looking for a good option to be able to do just that, then the Google Business Profile Agency dashboard may just be what you are looking for. And it comes with some really good benefits. Of course, this is going to allow you to manage all of your clients' accounts from within a single dashboard. It is also free for you to use, so you can't get much better than that. And this is also going to allow you to request access to your clients' accounts. That way, you do not have to get, try to get your clients to add you to their account, trying to show them how to go about doing that, having to wait on them. This is a really easy way to just be able to request that so they can very quickly and easily give you permissions without having to figure it out themselves. And what I also really like is that you can create user groups. So this is a way for you to be able to organize the different locations or clients, I should say, by location, uh, by industry, or any other way that you wanna be able to organize your client accounts. And then you can even assign different user groups to that. So let's say that you hire people, whether you work with freelancers or you have an actual employed staff, and you wanna be able to give access for certain people to certain businesses or certain clients, but you don't necessarily wanna give them access to all of your clients, this is a way to be able to do that. So there's really a lot that you can do from this single dashboard here. So today I wanna to show you just how easy this is to get set up, show you what this actually looks like, so you can decide if this is something that you would want to use for your agency to better help you manage your Google business profile clients. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is of course set up the account, which is pretty straightforward. So we're gonna come over here to Google Business Profile Agency dashboard. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so it's just, uh, that way you can just click and get here easily. So now this is gonna ask us for our agency website here. Now we need to make sure that we're gonna be using a company email as it's gonna be asking us for that is not an actual Gmail account and we have to make sure that this account does not have any location associated with it. So we'd have to actually remove those permissions or use a different email address. So what we'll do is we'll pop in our URL here and click next. Now this one is telling me that I am signed in using a different Google account. So I'm then going to change the account here and sign in with an email address that is associated with the website that I have here and I can click confirm. And that's it, the account is now set up so I can go ahead and start uh, managing all the client locations that I have. So we're gonna get started here. This now takes us to the agency dashboard. So you can see, even if you just have a couple of businesses that you are managing their Google business profile for them, that this is gonna be helpful to you because now you don't have to log into those accounts individually. So we can see here the number of businesses that are being managed. Of course, this is a new account, so that we are starting with zero here, but now we're gonna start requesting permission to access these accounts and start getting our clients in here. So we can see right away how many businesses we are managing, we can see right away, are there any issues? And we don't have to wait to discover this by logging into each of the client accounts individually. So are there any issues? Do we have any businesses that are still unverified that we need to get them verified? Are there any that are suspended or marked as permanently closed that maybe shouldn't be? Are there any duplicate listings out there? These are things that we need to monitor and that we are staying on top of fixing right away if need be. And uh, they also put in some reminders here, like there's some holiday hours. So this is great for you to be able to send out emails to your clients and say, hey, we have a holiday coming up soon. Just wanted to confirm your hours so I can update your account. Want to make sure that customers are getting to you and calling you during the hours where you're actually going to be available so they don't get upset because clients get upset if they show up at a business when they say that they're going to be open on Google and they're not. Um, and if you want to transfer a business, you're already managing a client's business using a different account, this is how you can transfer it now into your organizational account here that's going to give you some instructions. But what I want to show you is a couple of things. As you can see uh, on our navigation bar here, there really isn't that much, but don't let that deter you. A simplicity is a beautiful thing. So only having these few options, there's really not a lot you need to be able to manage all of your accounts here. So I want to show you a couple of things here. This is going to help you understand how to set this up, how to start using this. But before I jump into that, there are three types of users that 
you need to be aware of and I'm going to reference those here so I want to make sure that you know what they mean that's really all the lingo that you're going to need to understand is just these three groups so the first is an organizational user now this is just really your agency so this is the top level account that is associated with your agency now the second type of user is a user group and this is a group to manage the users within your agency so these groups can be created by the organizational users and can be given permission to manage business groups. So what are business groups? Well, that is the third type of group here. Now they are a set of locations that are managed by a user group or the organization. And these groups can only be created by organizational users. And so this is really gonna help you organize the businesses that you work with. So maybe you want to organize them by industry or by location or even just by a team. So let's say that you hire freelancers or you hire um, actual staff and you only want certain people to have access to certain businesses. You don't wanna give them access to all of your clients accounts only the ones that they're gonna be helping you manage and so this will help you create those types of groups and you're only giving permissions to the team members to the users that actually need that permission there so that's where this is really helpful and even if you don't have a team yet you don't have any help with this it can still help you organize it let's say by industry or by something else that will help you um, just just keep them organized uh, we all kind of visualize information differently so that's why it's nice to be able to set up these groups in a way that fits you I still like to set it up in a way that if I don't have a team now, but I might hire a person or maybe a couple of person, even in the next year or so, to be able to help me if I already have the businesses organized. When I do bring that person on, I just have to add them to that particular group. I don't have to redo anything here. So thinking ahead a little bit, even if you don't think that you'll hire someone, that, that can be really helpful to make sure you keep this organized. Um, so this is now the second step is to set up business groups. We can come over here to the navigation bar and select businesses and you will see that Google already has two groups set up for us agency group one and two super creative we can keep those names if we want to or we can go to group settings and we're going to be able to edit the business name here to whatever we want or just go ahead and delete that that business group right there you can also click on create a group and create your own group give it your own creative name right here uh, something that will help you remember the types of businesses that are in there. So once you do that, then you're going to be able to add businesses into this group. So right now we are under agency group one. If I wanna add a business to agency group one, I can simply click on add business and I'm gonna be able to add a single business here and I'll be able to type in their name, type in the category and follow through there. Now, what I do wanna show you though is most likely what you're going to be using if you are working with any clients or you're, let's say you're bringing on a new uh, Google business profile client. What you're gonna do is instead of having to say, here are the step-by-step -step instructions for how to add us as the agency to your account, to give us permissions to be able to work on your account, here's what you do. The client is already overwhelmed. They have so many business tasks then they got to sit down and try to figure this out. You are just waiting and waiting for them to get this done. Now all you got to do is send them a request. They can approve it and you're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to manage invitations. So what we'll do is we can go ahead and request access. So this is awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to select the organization, which is uh, already listed here for us. If you, uh, for your email account that you've set this up with, uh, also belong to other organizations, all of them will be se uh, selected here. Otherwise, you only have one. So just make sure you're paying attention if you are part of other organizations. So you're requesting access to the right organization. Uh, then you will select the business group. So remember, we had agency group one and two. So let's say we want this to be agency group two. We will select next. And now what we're going to do is we are going to type in the name of the business that we are trying to add to this group. And what we'll do is we will click manage now. And that is gonna resend that email request to the client and they can click to approve it. So now whenever we do this, we, also, we always wanna make sure that we don't request ownership permissions we as the agency should only be requesting manager permissions because if we request ownership it's going to bump everybody else down 
you as an agency owner do not want to be the owner of this profile. That's the business's profile. They should be the owner. You are just helping to manage it. So that just keeps things clean and easy. Now, if I go back to this dashboard here for a second, once I have requested access to this, what I can do is come back to manage invitations and I can go to request sent. Any request that I send to a business will now be listed here and I can see the status here as well. So that's helpful to see is a client, has a client accepted it? Can I go ahead and get started? Um, do I need to follow up with them? All the requests will be sent right there. Now what we can also do is manage the users, which is the next thing that we need to do. So we can create, just like with our business groups, we can create user groups. So we can see that we already start with user group one, but we can click here and we can change that title because that's, well, not very descriptive for us. And we can also create an additional user group just by clicking on the create user group button, putting in a new name and clicking save and add users. So that will help us create those user groups and this is where we're gonna add our team members. So we can always add additional users here. We'll be able to see who's the primary owner of that group. Uh, we can see any members that are within that group there as well. So we can manage these user groups and we can go ahead and add a user. So this is now where you can start adding in your team members. So let's say you hire a new freelancer and you wanna add them to one of your groups to manage a couple new clients that you have brought on. So what you can do is put in their email addresses here, making sure again that you are using an email address that isn't associated with other listings at this time here. And then you wanna choose a role. And that's where we can select member. And that's where you can select member there. So once you have put in the email address, Make sure to select on the pop-up email that comes up, and then you will be able to select the permissions here, owner or member. While well, I want to add a member to this group, I don't need them to own it and have all full permissions there, and we can click invite. So now we can see that they are an invited member here and click done. And once I'm out of there, I'll be able to come back anytime and under manage users again, user groups, I can click on manage and I'll be able to see the members there and also the status so I can see that they are still invited and that will change to just member once they have received the email and accepted the invitation there. And now once this user has accepted the invitation they receive in their email, then they will be automatically added to that business group that you selected and will be able to begin managing those accounts. Once the business has accepted the request, if we come back over to the overview screen here, we will see that we now have one business that we are managing and we can see that this business is actually unverified. So that tells us right away, we have something we need to work on with the business if we have not already. So if we come over here now to our businesses tab here, we have requested that they be added to agency group two. So we're gonna select that group and we can see now we have the business here that we sent the invitation to and they are appearing in this business here. So we can go ahead and click to get them verified if that is not already in progress. We can also click on their name and that is gonna take us directly to their profile where we can start making updates to it, optimizing it, whatever needs to be done for that particular business. Now, because we are in agency group and we already started to set up some users here, if we want to go ahead and assign the users to this group so they can begin managing this business as well as any others that we add, we will select group settings here. We will go to manage users and this is where we can add a user group. We'll select the group. In this case, we still have user group one. We will select a role for them that they can manage this group and select Add. and we are done so now any of the users that you have added within that user group user group one they will now be able to see this within their account and be able to manage any of the businesses you add here. So as you can see, this is a really nice, easy way to be able to organize not only the businesses that you are working with, but also to be able to organize a team and to get them to be able to help with the businesses for you to have a quick and easy dashboard here to see how many businesses you're currently serving. If there's anything that needs attention here, you can make sure your team is helping the businesses as well. So hopefully, 
hopefully this helps you have a good idea of how you can manage multiple Google business profile accounts for clients, whether or not you have a team. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask down in the comments below. Let me know if this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this, and I'll see you next time.